to be like Robin. I feel like he's got to move his hair out of the way <laughs> just, just to read. All right, let's talk about the different types of precip that we had for today because we had almost everything. We had plain rain for a time, and the way this works, this would be a column of air. You may not know, but most of the rain that we get even in the middle of summer actually starts out as frozen precipitations, usually snow. And then there's a good portion of the air that's actually warm enough. It melts and becomes rain today, especially this morning. We had freezing rain, so we get a pretty good column of warm air. So the snow melts, but then there's just a little tiny column of cold air right near the surface. Today was really extraordinary because the cold air was at the surface. It wasn't anywhere else. It literally didn't freeze until it hit the ground, and that's where we had those really cold temperatures. We also had some sleet. That's where you get this warm column, but you get enough cold near the surface that it refreezes, becomes an ice pellet, and then, of course, we had some snow today. That's where the whole column is frozen, all the way from the clouds down to the surface. All right. Tomorrow, not just tonight, but this also includes into Wednesday. What's going to be icy? Main roads? Probably not. Side streets, driveways, and sidewalks? Yeah, I think it's still going to be on the slick side. Dense fog advisory tonight into tomorrow morning. Wouldn't be surprised if that gets extended or we get another one issued. Fog sticks around for much of the week because we've got this giant snowpack and we've got all this warm-ish air moving over that snowpack. And so you often get fog in that kind of situation. That's exactly what's happening. Watch out on those side streets, the driveways, the sidewalks, because there will be some refreezing as the night goes on. Quiet at the moment, at least radar wise. Got a little bit of action to the west of us, and we'll have some drizzle around it really any time, but better chances would be in the morning. It doesn't show up well here on Futurecast, but this isn't going to be a huge deal. I think the temperatures are warm enough that it's just drizzle and not freezing drizzle, but we still could have some slippery spots out there. Uh, again, especially on those driveways and sidewalks. Please take it easy. I know there are a lot of falls today. Hopefully we won't duplicate that for tomorrow. It doesn't really change on Thursday. It's the same thing. It's cloudy, it's dreary, and we have a little more drizzle in the forecast. We're 38. That is our high for the day in Milwaukee. Now, things are looking good if you're traveling out of Mitchell for tonight or if you're expecting someone so far so good in terms of the fog. I think that will change as time goes on. There is some fog, but it's not too dense yet in Brookfield. Temperature 33 degrees from our camera located at Landmark Credit Union. That's going westbound. This is going eastbound and all is quiet. Dense fog advisory for the entire area through at least 10 a.m. tomorrow. Visibility in Waukesha, you're down to a half a mile. That's going to be an issue. Temperatures still right around freezing, so watch for that refreezing. There's no real cold air again. We've locked that up to the north and the temperature outlook. This is the six to 10 day outlook warm. The eight to 14 day outlook warm. That takes us into February. So if you don't like the snow around, I think it's going to be melting off pretty quickly. Why? We've bottled the cold up again and it's stuck way up in the North Pole. It's not heading down here anytime soon. This takes us into February 2nd Groundhog Day and it looks like it will be rather warm. I mean, really warm, maybe even some 50s in the forecast before all is said and done. 40, 40, and 42 in our forecast. Now, one of the interesting things is that we haven't hit 40 yet this January. Uh, that's going to be changing because there's going to be numerous days that are hitting 40. Uh, just kind of a nasty, ugly forecast Wednesday and Thursday. Again, watch for some slick spots both of those mornings, and then a quiet weekend on the way. But